is Trove the MMO really that good? Let's check it out. We're also gonna do an overview, check out the updates, the cash up, the monetization, the features, and let's see what's happening to Trove nowadays. Where can you play? And we're gonna do a Trove gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Trove is a multi-platform voxel MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Trove? The game. It's a voxel MMORPG with action combat and a colorful, vibrant world. In Trove, players can explore a voxel based world, battle monsters and bosses, collect resources and loot, build and customize their own structures, complete quests and challenges, join clubs for socializing, participate in events and engage in PvP combat. Now going to Trove's Steam page, they describe the game as the ultimate action MMO. And the website description is free to play voxel MMORPG on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Now one of the highlights of Trove is its voxel based world. The world of Trove is a vast and colorful realm with unique voxel based design. It consists of a variety of biomes, each offering distinct environments and challenges for players to explore. The voxel-based nature of the world means that everything from the terrain to the objects is made up of cubes, giving it a blocky and pixelated appearance. Now, Trove was released in 2015 and is developed by Tryon Worlds, a subsidiary of Gamigo, a German company, and for the most part, they buy aging MMOs. And some of those MMOs are Last Chaos, most of the area games MMOs, Fiesta Online, and more. Regarding Strobe's reception, Trove has generally received a positive reception from players and critics alike. The game's unique blend of voxel-based building mechanics, action-packed combat, and exploration elements has garnered praise for its creativity and accessibility. One of the aspects that players particularly enjoy is its extensive building and customization options, the ability to construct and shape their own worlds using a variety of building blocks and decorations, has attracted gamers looking for a virtual canvas to express their imaginations. However, like any game, Trove also faced some criticisms. Some players have expressed concerns about repetitive gameplay in certain areas and the balancing of certain character classes. Additionally, server stability and occasional bugs have been reported, although the development team has consistently worked to address such issues through patches and updates. Overall, Trove's positive reception can be attributed to its unique gameplay, player-driven content creation, and the ongoing support and updates from the development team. Now let's talk about the monetization. Trove follows a free-to-play model with optional in-game purchases. The game allows players to access and play its core content without requiring any upfront payment. However, it offers various cosmetics and convenience items that players can purchase using real money. And in the cash shop, we can buy a premium subscription that increases EXP, makes you do things faster, and gives you extra rewards. We can also buy gacha boxes in the form of this piñata. We can also get gems that add stats, pet items, the dragons, mounts, and classes. Now, here's an update on what's happening to Trove nowadays. In July 2023, Trove just got a new update called the Fluxion Update, and it brings a plethora of new features and improvements to enhance the gameplay. And according to their website, the update consists of first, the Fluxion, a community-oriented version of Luxion, and that's not all. We have a new delved biome called Castle Catastra, where we'll embark on adventures to find the legendary Cat's Eye Gemeralds. The update also introduces the Cosmic Primordial Dragon and the Master's Autoscriptor, offering us even more to explore and enjoy. So yeah, Trove is still being updated. Now, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. And we are in the game. Okay guys, we skip the class selection because there's no character creation in this game so it's pretty useless making you guys see that it's basically gonna make you select your class and that's it. So, let's start with the movements guys. We can move with WASD, rotate the camera with the mouse, we can attack with the left and right mouse button. The left mouse button is the basic attack and the right mouse button is a skill we can charge with it. There it goes. We can jump with space. Can we double jump? Ah uh, yes, and we can glide. Ooh. Hey wait a minute, can we click to move? We can summon the cursor by the way by holding the alt key. There it goes, we now have a cursor. 
and I'm trying click to move and we can't do it and as you can see there's quite a few people over here so anyway let's check out the menus so we have the character sheet over here there goes a character profile so there we go so we got some stuff a mask a weapon and a hat there goes our potion so close this what else do we have in the menu inventory class selection leaderboards by the way you buy classes in here guys and there are free classes of course now adventures over here is the quest let's check it out there it goes events quest club so close this so the class that we have here is a gunslinger uses pistols and our skill at the beginning is first the number one skill is this get some kind of a jump and then hover <laughs> then the second skill turns our basic attack into some kind of a let's try it out here we goes and as you can see there we goes we now attack faster if we have the second skill the third skill is the right mouse button we can charge with it there he goes we're now charging our attack and when we release it it's going to be powerful and as you can see guys this world is amazing it looks nice i really like this one it's voxel based it's very unique you don't really see that much mmorpgs like this actually i think this is the only one no in a way maple story 2 is kind of like this not as over the top as this one i'm pretty sure there's another one <laughs> i just couldn't remember it okay so there goes the quest we usually take quests from this guy and of course we get rewards so how about let me take you guys to the hub so to go to the hub you must open the map and you can open up the map here by pressing ctrl plus a there it goes they should have just used m <laughs> because it's very obvious it's m and you can teleport to the hub anywhere in the game even if you are for example here at the permafrost world no matter where you are in this world you can go to the hub by just opening the map so let's go to the hub the trobe hub portal enter and we are at the hub and as you can see this game is still very active every time i play this yearly this game never fails there's still a lot of people playing this game usually there's a lot of people doing piñatas over here because some of the rewards of the piñata is shared so that's nice so how about questing here's our quest tracker over here this is the quest tracker and according to this we need to do more dungeons so how about let's go here over here at the desert frontier let's enter this and let's look for a dungeon dungeons over here you can locate them by pressing m and there's a world map kind of like this where are those x so how about let's try going to this dungeon over here can we point over there okay let's go and there goes our first enemy so how about combat guys obviously combat is action we need to aim to attack the enemy this is like a third person shooter game if you're playing a gunslinger but you get the point third person perspective action combat there goes the first enemy let's charge and boom Ooh, you feisty huh you're pushing me and we got him okay press m again are we near the dungeon not yet is that the dungeon that giant cactus over there okay let's go there oh yes it is i think that's the portal let's go we are gliding oh go down bro go down <laughs> it's happening okay there's a portal enter the portal desert frontier oh use the second skill we eliminate this ones go bro and we got that one are we losing hp nope let's charge up oh use second skill again nope Man, this is too difficult for us. <laughs> These guys are tough. <laughs> They're murdering me. Okay, we got that one. We almost died. What? I think we're supposed to grind first. <laughs> oh, there it goes. We're done with this dungeon. Objective completed. Ah, yeah. Sometimes, guys, when there are other players near you, and when they defeated the boss of the castle or the dungeon, you will also get the kill. So yeah, there it goes. Trove, this is a decent MMO. And that's Trove in 2023. It's a decent MMO, solid action combat. It's got a lively world and it's still being updated. It wouldn't hurt to check it out. It's free. And guys, do you want to see the latest free to play MMORPG news? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gimme Hardcore. See you in the next one.